Lana, what are you doing? Julia Ferrioli, back to your question. For number one, instead of right isosceles triangle, so that means there's going to be one line of symmetry. So after you drew your triangle, a right isosceles triangle, draw a line of symmetry through it. You think you got that, Julia? Guys, we don't know how long this is going to last. Thank you, Jack. Daniel, I was. I, you said you had the same question as Julia did for number two. And on, the, on letter A, when you draw the right isosceles triangle, they want you to draw one line of... I just froze on my side. Am I still here? Line of symmetry, Daniel, like that. Julia, what did I do, hon? I drew a right isosceles triangle. Do you understand that part? Julia, you know how to do 1A, right? You draw a right isosceles triangle. Do you get that part? Say yes if you understand that one. Waiting for Julia Ferroli. Yes, you do that. Okay, good. Julie, once you drew that triangle, number two is asking if I'm correct. It says, draw all possible lines of symmetry in the triangles above. Explain why some triangles do not have lines of symmetry. That's number two. Okay? So you go to the four triangles that you drew. Here's a hint. If it's a scaling, there are no lines of symmetry. So that you don't going to draw anything. But you go to number 1A and you say, where can I make a line of symmetry? For it. And I'm showing you, that's what all you do. You drew the dotted line through that triangle. Okay? That's the only line of symmetry you're going to find in the isosceles triangle because it's only, it only has two equal sides. If it's an equilateral triangle, any of them equilateral? No. Only, guys, only A and D are you going to draw lines for. A and D. That's it. And then your explanation is going to be very simple. A and D have lines of symmetry because they have two, two sides that are equal. B and C do not have any lines of symmetry because they do not, they're scaling triangles and they don't have equal sides. And that's all the answer to number two. That's it. So it's going to be one dotted line through triangle A where you think if you folded it, it would be equal on each side. And one dotted line through triangle D where if you folded it, it would be equal on each side. And if you can't get it exact, it's all right, guys. It's As long as you understand the concept that the isosceles – Daniel, my least favorite expression is I don't get it. Here's A, right here. There's the right triangle. These measures are equal. That makes it isosceles. Then I drew a line through each side, right, to make it a line of symmetry. That's all I did there. D, it's going to be acute angles. So you're not going to have this right angle. They're going to be acute. Easiest acute one to draw is, is more equilateral, but we don't have to go there. When they're all acute, equilateral triangles are the best one. Good, Julia. It's Listen, the key here today is can you do the first website, uh, the math playground one? If you could do that and have fun with it and start understanding angles, we won today. If you can draw a triangle – a right isosceles triangle with a line of symmetry. That's a double A, unbelievable job on your, your, your part. You know, if you couldn't do any of it, it's okay. Keep practicing. But don't quit. Nah, I don't want to do it. I don't get it. I don't. Yeah, you do. Just let yourself breathe. If you did one through five, you could submit yes. I drank only uh, water today, Adonis. I didn't drink my Coke today. 
I'm trying to wait till lunchtime. So where are you going? Upstairs. Where's your phone? It's in my desk. All right. If you did it on paper, Matthew, uh, snap a picture and, and, and add it to the assignment. What is better for me, Daniel? I know, Donna, you're happy about that. Yes, take a picture of it and submit it. What I, Now, for my superstars, for someone who really wants to try it, can you flip grid me a video of you using a protractor and drawing an angle and measuring it? And let me see if you're doing it right. Flip grid me. Isabella, what does that mean? She has a phone. Oh, my daughter. Oh. She don't have a phone. She has an iPod, but she's able to FaceTime and uh, and text. So I don't trust her. If I'm not working with her, I know she'll be texting her friends. So I, I make a deal with her. She could work, but I need her phone, or I call it a phone, it's her iPod, because I know she'll get nothing done, and she'll be texting and FaceTiming the whole time. I, Daniel, she has the ability to FaceTime. She has Wi-Fi, so as long as she can FaceTime like another Apple person. Anyway, back to my challenge. What's up? Um, um, Riley has okay, thank you. Is your what are you writing about? I'm writing about bunnies. Bunnies? Yeah. You know about bunnies? Yes, I'm I do. Why don't you write about soccer practice? I'll write about, write about traveling to the moon with soccer practice. I'll write about that All right. I'm going up too. Landon, if you're delayed with your work, we're going to have major issues. That's what it is, Brie. But only if they're like I think in the same group. So, take here's your challenge. Take your protractor, Dylan. You decide the angle. How about this? Not a right angle. It has to be either obtuse or acute. But you also have to label the exact angle that it is. And I'm going to see if I can do it on screen and see if you're right. Flip grid it to me. Show me your process of moving the protractor, the bottom part. So the bottom part matches one of the side arms of the angle. If the bottom part can match one of the side arms of the angle, you did a great job. Your choice of angle, flip grid it. I'm going to put up a choice right now for flip grid. Hold on. Flip grid. Flip grid. Tomorrow's going to be light, guys. Tomorrow's we're going to finish Wonder today. I'm going to have some fun Wonder things for you to do, some fun projects. And uh, we're going to keep it lighthearted until I can find a way for us to make this work. Mr. Cavanaugh's class had a new topic. Draw me an angle using a protractor. Okay. Okay. Hold on one second, guys. This is cool. I'm going to video, video. Three, two, and one, and hi, guys. Mr. Cavanaugh here. I'm actually on live with you right now on YouTube Live, and I'm also on live here on Flipgrid. What I would like for you to do is using your protractor, I would like you to draw one angle, two angles, three angles, four angles, whatever you want. But I want you drawing those angles using a protractor. And with that protractor, I want to see you moving it so you can match up the bottom of the protractor with one of the arms of the angle. And you can talk to me and show me how you're doing it and how you're learning. Okay? Even if you get it wrong, I'm going to be so proud that you submitted a video. I look forward to seeing them. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, guys. Mr. Cavanaugh here. I'm at Selfie Time. One of my favorites. I'm going to do the, not the loser sign, but the angle sign. Look at that selfie. Perfect. Okay. The flip grid is ready to share. Congratulations, it says. Complete. And create topic. And draw me an angle. Draw me an angle. 
Bear with me, guys. I'm almost done. Period. Create topic. Here's the share. Copy. Copy. All set. And let's see. Going over to the class classroom site. Going for our wonderful class picture, adding the link, adding a link, flip grid it away, added link, and it says to you, draw me an angle, not an angel, angle, to make me smile. Use a protractor, you cheaters. Tractor to give me exact measurement. How about you spell something right, Mr. Cavanaugh? Is that allowed? Goodness gracious. And post. Isabella, D, so you need a triangle, right, that has three acute angles, and all of the measurements are different. So all the lengths are different. Just makes, make every line size different, right? Every line size different, and make every angle less than an L. That's it. So I'll do a really big line. I'll do a really small sign with a small angle. And another really small angle. But oh, that's the weirdest looking triangle I've ever seen in my life. That's an obtuse one. It's, hard, it's harder than it looks. But three different size lines. And when they connect, they all make acute angles. That's all. Very simple. And if you can do your flip grids, I will be so excited. I think the angle sign is this. No, that's not it. This. Okay, you guys are free to go. What I recommend that you do is you try to go to both sides and try to practice. See if you're starting to get it. And if you really want to challenge yourself, go to the second website, uh, the Math is Fun one, to really challenge yourself. If you start mastering that one, you got it. So we're going to keep that up there and see if you can let you practice. I'm going to leave the YouTube live on, as long as it stays on. And you can go do the science. If you have any questions on counterclaims, Daniel, thank you for doing the flip grid. Uh, whoever wants to do the flip grid, it's going to really make me happy. And just try it. Even if it's wrong, I don't care. At least I know where you are. But I'll leave you guys on for a little bit. If you have any questions, you let me know. I'm here. Just click on YouTube and I'll be back. I'm not leaving. So might put on some TV, maybe put on the Met game. They're playing the uh, 2001 game. Might be over now or something. Maybe I'll turn it so you guys can watch the Met game with me. She's got to go out, Jen. It is, it is so windy out today. I don't know where she is. The door. No, I opened it, but I don't know where she is. Yeah, I think she's upstairs with us. It's amazing. Just kind of as a payback for all the times that I'm away and I, I've missed the violin count. Weakness to his game is post up defense because he doesn't have that leaping ability. And the West right now is saying, A little basketball. Bird. And 
This is the All-Star game from 1986. I was your age. Let's get our classwork done. Let's submit it. And hopefully the sun comes out today. Abdul Jabbar has never won the MVP award as an All Star game. Yeah, well, come on. And he has 16 points right now. Comes in very much rested. Seven to go in the game. Push. Come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. I got the protractor. Guys, it's cold out here. Come on in. Come on. Come on. I was born in 74, Bobby. 1974, so I was a little older than you guys. I was 12. Hockey's 2015 Hockey Stanley Cup. U.S. Med's mission is to find ways to make your diabetes more manageable and more comfortable. You deserve to enjoy life without a constant reminder of living with diabetes. You may qualify to receive a continuous glucose monitor with little or no cost to you. Call now for more information. A continuous glucose monitor provides blood sugar readings without uncomfortable finger sticks and alerts you real time to potentially harmful spikes in your blood sugar levels. U.S. Med is an approved provider for Medicare and over 500 private insurance companies. If you're a caretaker for someone who suffers from diabetes or have diabetes yourself and meet these conditions, Good. call our diabetic specialist now to see if you qualify for your continuous glucose monitor. Call 1-800-605-7967. That's 1-800-605-7967. Well, just said. Teaching students science and technology. Oh, I said Keep your students sharp and Get free online access at nhl.com slash future goals. Pickle block, why the ring is off of 
Edmund had popped out of play. Midway second period, game three, bench at seven. The series is one one, and game three is as well. It was a marker. My wife just told me I have a marker going to fall out of my pocket. No, Bobby, I am not older than your grandma. I was born in 74. Your grandma was born in 71. So she's three years older than me. So that means your grandmother is very young and strong and living a good life. Take your time, Daniel. It's all right. Adonis, do you draw your angles? Just draw them on a piece of paper if you can't print them. One of you guys got me this blanket this year. It's cozy, this thing. You got to do it, Adonis. What do you mean you're not doing it? Do it. There's no sorry I'm not doing it. You do the assignment. You don't have to do the flip grid. No, the flip grid you don't have to do. But the other assignment you got to do. The assignment for the day you have to do and send in. You can do it on a piece of paper and just take a picture of it and send it in. Okay, bud? Flip grid was optional. Yeah, Google Classroom on the phone is a nightmare. Me too, Daniel. An absolute nightmare. So don't worry about it. Take your time. Classroom. Got a lot of flip grids already. Wow. Try the flip grid. It's fun. You, you got to be able to have fun with yourself, guys. You take it too seriously, that's where it just doesn't work out. Have fun. You had it, Julia. Wow, you're in. Julia, it looks like you have it. So do the assignment. 
just click on that assignment, that creative writing and the closed reading and the Peter Pan. Those are the three things I assigned. So do those. Julian, Julian Madonna, the the um, the Khan Academy. You have what you need. Those the thing you showed me has the three assignments that I assigned. Just click on them and do them. Thank you, Daniel. Julian, you hear what I said about Khan Academy? You're in. Click on that assignment. Yeah, Julia, for Khan, the flip grid you sent me for Khan. You, you, on your screen, I see the three assignments that I assigned. So you're good to go. Bob, you only you would know if you're in, Bobby. I'm not on your computer. You would have to. I think you are, though. If you click on assignments, you'll see the three assignments that are posted for you. <laughs> 